I'm going to continue to scroll down to the enabled filters and we'll compare that with the enabled filters over here. On both sides, we have the limit allowed HTML tags. Although for Drupal 8, it also corrects faulty HTML. We can set it to display any HTML as plain text. We can convert the line breaks. And notice that by default, convert line breaks isn't enabled. This is because when using a WYSIWYG, generally the new lines in the code don't correspond to new lines when the content is output. Most likely we would want this to come into play with a text format that doesn't include a WYSIWYG at all. The convert URLs to links filter is also in both, but it's disabled in Drupal 8. And then we have some additional filters around images. So if you remember back when we added an image to our content, we had options to set the alignment and set the caption. And this is just saying that it will use data align and data caption for those two properties. We also have a new filter, restrict images to this site, and this is on by default. This requires that any image that gets used in the content is hosted on this site and not referencing an image on another site. This is mostly for control over your content. The correct faulty and chopped off HTML is disabled here, but enabled by default in Drupal 7. Most of that is also done by the limit allowed HTML tags and correct faulty HTML up here. And then finally, we have the option to track images uploaded via a text editor. So if we upload an image through the WYSIWYG, Drupal will by default track it as a file in the database. And just like in Drupal 7, we can adjust the order of these. I'm going to scroll down. Notice that in the filter settings for limit allowed HTML tags that in Drupal 7, display basic HTML help in long filter tips is checked, whereas it's disabled in 8.